Hey everyone, it's Jenny W, and today I'm going to be doing a video um, using some different zinc paper to print out some pictures for my journal. Um, I have some plant pictures that I need to print out, and then I also have some uh, other pictures that I wanted to put in like a photo journal. Give me one second. I'm going to turn on the light here just to see if it helps make it a little bit brighter. And it kind of works, but not really. <laughs> um, Alright, so I'm sorry about the lighting. Hopefully we'll be able to get uh, some good results with these pictures. Um, basically, the reason why I do these type of videos for the zinc paper is just to show you like different options. If you didn't want to use the zinc paper that like goes with this printer, this is the Canon Ivy printer. Um, so you can use different zinc papers like Polaroid, HP, Kodak, Canon. Um, all those LG which I don't have any LG paper but you can use all of those um, so today I'm going to show you some results that I get and then you can just use your own judgment on which one would be better for you to buy um, the Kodak I've only seen it I think I've seen some in Best Buy one time um, you can purchase it online through Amazon uh, possibly Best Buy as well um, Canon Ivy paper, I've seen that in Best Buy. I don't think I've seen that one in Walmart. I've seen the Polaroid one in Walmart and the HP paper. I've seen that in Best Buy. And then you can get any of them on Amazon. Um, but let's get started. I have my Canon Ivy pocket photo printer. I've put some stickers on it. I'm going to power it on. You'll see the light just came on on there. And I have all my paper right here. Like I have it unpackaged, ready to go. Canon paper and the HP, uh, Kodak, and the Polaroid. So my phone just lit up. It says on here that the uh, mini print would like to connect. So I'm going to connect to that. It says I have an upgrade, so uh, we'll see if it'll let me go ahead and print some stuff. Doesn't look like it's going to let me. Looks like it's sending an upgrade to the printer. Alright, I'm going to let this finish and then I will be right back. All right, I'm back. All right, so my printer has done the update, and I'm going to click Allow on here, just like I did before. Um, you will notice up here that this is going to change to green. It uh, was gray. This is the battery for the printer, and it just changed to green. I do have my printer fully charged, so we should be ready to go. Um, first things first, though, I'm going to load a pack of paper in here. I'm going to start off with the Canon because I need to run this Canon barcode through there anyways. And you can notice on here that it does say Canon on the back of the paper as well. And I'm going to do just, I'm going to put a couple of paper, like zinc papers in there with the barcode. Um, when you load it, your pack of paper always comes like the glossy side up and then the barcode on the bottom. So what you're going to do is just take it directly out of the pack and load it just like that with the paper on top and the barcode on the bottom. So I'm going to do that. See my light was blinking red while I had the paper out of it. Alright, so let's get started here. First of all, we're in the Canon IV app, the mini print app. What we're going to do is go to my pictures and we're going to pick out a picture to print. Let me go through here. Um, I want to print a picture for my plant journal. And let's see here. I did take a couple. I took this one. This is 
of a uh, Cressula, I think. I can't remember exactly what it's called because I took a picture of the uh, title of it. But that is what that is. I want to print this picture out for my plant journal. So now I'm going to go to print. I'm not doing any type of filters, but if you wanted to, the filters would be down here and they'd be, I believe, this one right here. I don't use filters too much. And then there's also this one to adjust the brightness and darkness and everything, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to leave it exactly the way it is and see which one comes out looking the best. And I just decided I'm going to do the same photo for all of them just so you can see the differences. And it is sending it to the printer. Let's see. What is going on there? Okay. There we go. You can see the little blue line moving right there. And now it is sending it. Now let's wait. This is real time. I uh, don't plan on fast forwarding this or anything. Just hopefully this video doesn't take that long. It's going to print out the um, blue barcode first. It's going to run that through because that calibrates the printer. And here comes the picture. This is on the Canon IV uh, paper. And while we're waiting on that, I'll show you this box too. This is the box. Comes in a 20 pack. Every um, pack that I have comes in a 20 pack. And I think these were maybe $9.99. I'm not for sure on that, but I think they were $9.99. Alright, there is that one. Let me see if I can focus on it some here. That's that one. I'll lay them all out uh, too at the end of the video just so we can kind of run through and see which one's better. But this one is the Canon one. So I'm going to stick that off to the side for right now. Now I'm going to go over here and take out this paper. I'm not going to run the blue barcode again through it because you don't have to. You don't really have to. Um, you ran it through that one time. You don't have to do that that often. Maybe every pack of paper, every two packs of paper you can run it through, but I'm just going to switch out the paper. You are not going to want to use the blue barcode that comes with any of these other brands. So Polaroid, I'm not going to use this blue barcode at all. I'm just going to take maybe two or three sheets of this and you'll notice the back of this says something different it says the zero ink this is the Polaroid paper all of these are sticky paper and then I'm gonna put this back on there load my phone up again of course I got Jon Snow and Danny on there okay I'm gonna print the same exact picture only on Polaroid paper doing nothing else I just switched out the paper There we go. Um, it didn't connect to the printer for a second, and I'll show you. This here was gray, and it's out of focus a little bit, but it went gray. So what I'm going to do is click right there, and it puts the picture in the print queue. So now it's going to run through and print the same photo. It's my cat meowing in the background there. He uh, wants to go outside. But he is not going outside. All my cats are indoor. I only have two.
Alright, this here is the Polaroid paper. Let's see if I can focus in on that. And right off the bat, let's just take a look at both of them. You can see a little bit of a color difference already. Um, the Canon one on the right of the screen looks a little bit more kind of yellowish tinted. And then the Polaroid kind of has that blue tint. Alright, but we will run through these at the very end, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the Polaroid paper. And I'm going to put that right here with my other Polaroid paper. And I'm going to put in the Kodak paper. Now, I have never used the Kodak paper, so I have no idea what kind of result I'm going to get from that. But again, I'm just going to take out, you know, two or three there. And this says, if you look, zero ink 12. And then the Polaroid paper said zero ink 17. So, different quality paper. I'm going to put that in the Canon Ivy. And again, it says the print queue is empty now, so it's going to have us go back to the original photo and we're going to hit print again. And it's already in the print queue, which is what it should do. Sometimes it might not connect, so that's when you would do what I showed you previously and click on that that's in the middle of it. And if you'd like a video on just how to use the Canon ID printer and the app itself, I would be willing to do that. If you're interested, just leave a comment down below and I can do a video on that as well. Oh wow, this is different. Like I can already tell a difference just by it printing out now. Whoa. Like, you can't tell yet because, obviously, you don't have a good view right now, but this looks, whoa, doesn't look that bad, actually. Like, this is the Kodak. And then let's just compare it to the last one we did, which was the Polaroid. So, again, you kind of have that bluish tint on the Polaroid. On the left, this is the Polaroid, and this is the Kodak. The greens look a lot more greener on the Kodak. And then let me see the Canon. This is out of focus now, so let me get this. This is the Kodak. This is the Canon. can't really tell too much of a difference. The Kodak looks a little bit more natural to me though. I don't know. We'll look at them all at the end again. Alright, so last one that I will do. Again, images is printed successfully, so we're going to hit OK on that. Print queue is empty, OK. We are going to take the Kodak paper out. Put it back. Now we're going to do the HP, which is the last one. I'm going to load that. This says Zinc 08, if you can tell. I'm going to load that in there. Print out the same picture. Alright. Print. And then it's going to go directly the printer again. While we're waiting on that one to print, I will show you this is the Kodak box. 20 sheets. These I think were like um, 9, 10, something like that. Maybe 12 at the most um, on Amazon. I bought these off of Amazon because I could not find them in store. And this is the Canon box. And then this is the sprocket box. Hmm. 
All right, this is the HP. All right, so now we are gonna set all these out and take a look at them and see if we can tell the difference. So I'm at the end of the video now. Um, we are going to look through these and see which one you think has the best quality. They all kind of have different tints to them, but I think I've already picked out the one that I like the best. Just the, the photo quality and stuff, it's probably going to be between the Canon and the, I don't know, the Kodak does really well. Okay, but here we go. The lighting's not that good. But this one is the HP. This one is the Canon. Now, I'm sorry for the bounciness, but I had to take my camera off the tripod. Canon versus HP. that just a little bit down. You see the HP does have this kind of bluish tint but the Canon kind of brings out more of the green and stuff. Make sure this light don't have anything to do with it. Nope it doesn't. It's still kind of lighter. So that's them two. This is the Canon with the HP. Now this is the Canon, HP, Canon. This is the Polaroid. The Polaroid also kind of has that same look, I think, like the HP, almost kind of resembles it a lot. This one definitely has more vivid of a green. The Canon does. And then this is the Kodak. The Kodak I honestly think is the best. Like I really like how it looks. But you be the judge, again, this is the Kodak, the Polaroid, the Canon, and the HP. They're all not that bad of pictures. Honestly, if you're doing scrapbooking or anything like that, it's not going to be too hor horrible of a picture, but it is 2x3, so the quality is not going to be that great but again it's not it's not too bad the Canon and the Kodak are really not that bad let me put them two together Canon is on the right Let's see if I can stabilize this just a little bit more and then the Kodak is on the left It's very close. I don't know, they're both pretty good. So either one of those I think you would probably be okay. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, just for reference on the papers and stuff you can kind of see the differences. Um, these pictures have some red and some green. Um, in the background, um, a little bit of bluish from the frog, um, but that's it. Hope you enjoy this video. Any questions or anything, leave a comment down below. Thank you.